This is a little clip to show um, those lecturers of you out there a little productivity tip. Uh, it's a tip about uh, leaving gaps in your lecture slides. Okay. Um, I've struggled for a long time maintaining two different files, um, lecture slide files, one for myself with complete information and another one for students with gaps. But um, I discovered that there is a very easy way to achieve that by only maintaining one slide. It unfortunately only works in text or I LaTeX. I only figured it out how to work in LaTeX. I tried for a long time to figure out how to replicate this in PowerPoint, for instance, but I can't. But I'm sure there are uh, clever people out there who will figure out how to do that. So here's the principle. This is just a normal tech file, and here is the compiled file. Here's what it looks like. Uh, some text here, we also have some maths and some text, and here also a graph. And you can see that some text here appears in green. And that's because you can, when you write uh, text here, you can use the text color command, um, where you say text color, then a color, and then inside these brackets is what you want in that color. Now you can see that here the color isn't called green, although it appears in green, but it's called student. So and why is that? That is because I define, and that's the key of the idea, my own color, and I just call it student. You could call it whatever you want. And here, for instance, I define it with the values 0, 0.6, 0 in the RGB um, mode, and that is green. So I've, I write my text, and whenever I have something that I figure I don't want students to see in their slides because I want to complete want them to complete it themselves, I write that text in that student color. So here, for instance, you can see only one on the right hand side, and that is here in that um, color command, text color student, or also entire blocks of text here on, this, on the second slide. Um, this entire green block is inside this text color green, or even when you create graphs using the um, uh, the graphing function, the text picture function, here I have, for instance, a line or a function which I give the color student, so it appears in green, or you can have other elements of that graph appear in that color green. So what you see here is when I compile that file, I get exactly the file again, which I have here with all the green elements. And this is what would be my lecturer version. Now, if I want to produce a student version where all these green bits are invisible, all I need to do is I need to go up to my color definition and I change the definition of the color student from green to white. 255, 255, 255 is the definition of white in the RGB mode. So if I now compile my file, you can see that all the green bits have disappeared. And this is the version which I would distribute to students. In fact, this is the version I would bring myself also to the lecture room and would uh, use on the data projector. And then um, I myself would hand fill some of these gaps. I wouldn't necessarily write all of the things which I wrote in green, um, leave something for students to just get from what I say. Um, for instance, you can then complete this graph in the lecture um, with your pen. So this is just a little productivity tip. I found this to be super useful and students really like it when you in the lecture write things by hand on the lecture slide rather than them miraculously appearing on, um, on the uh, screen.